was sitting with a corporate this week saying to him so where's the pain now in your business where's the where's the pain that you're feeling and uh, he said to me you know what we are starting to find is because we are working half day and half off we are finding that as soon as people know that they aren't coming in the office, they are automatically taking that as a day off. And we are noticing that things are starting to slip because the brain says, you know what, I'm going to get the work done by Friday anyway because I'm in the office tomorrow. So what I can do is I can just wait until tomorrow. But all of a sudden things needed to be done today or something needed to be logged today and that now pushes things out. So they're starting to see the cracks of people starting to, to, to let things go senior manager of a massive medical aid just the other day he said you know Gavin in all this time we haven't retrenched anybody he says we haven't we've managed not to let anybody go he said but some people are saying we could be in this predicament for the next year two three years he says we don't know what's going to happen when our clients start cancelling we don't know what's going to happen then and then it's going to be a game changer and who do we keep and when we do have to retrench people we're looking for people who are outstanding. We're looking for people who are creative, who are innovative. Those are the people we want to change. So he says, we're not, we're not there yet. He says, but now's the time for people literally in that old sport analogy, which I always used to hate. You've got to put your hand up and you've got to start saying, notice me, see me, because I'm part of the solution. I'm not part of the problem. I'm not bitching, whinging, and moaning every day. I can't tell you how many times people have said to me, Kevin, I want my people to be accountable. They must be responsible. They must take ownership. And you know what I do? And sorry, to all the managers and senior people who might be watching today, yes, this is your eight cuck parada. I know a lot of times people do talks and it's all designed for the staff, but this is now designed for managers, okay? If you want people to be accountable and responsible, I've got a question for you. How are you holding them accountable and responsible? What checks and balances have you put in place to make sure that your people do their work? And when they don't do their work, do you hold them accountable? Because people thrive and flourish on being held accountable. Please remember that. People need to know there are barriers and boundaries because without barriers and boundaries, children don't grow up well. Without barriers and boundaries, there's chaos. We are living in a country today where nobody is being held accountable. And that, I think, is the biggest problem facing the country today. And the funny thing is, we sit on a Sunday night and watch carte blanche, don't we? And they, call, they show you the municipalities falling apart. They show you the hospitals falling apart and SAA and the trains. And, the, and we sit there and go, they should hold them accountable. They should, and then we look at you and say, okay, your son didn't make his bed this morning. Did you hold him accountable? 68% of managers and senior people will not go into a conflict situation with their staff members because they are scared of the repercussions. Do you get that your staff member joined your company because they signed up for uh, uh, the, 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 what I call undercover management? In other words, I want someone to check what time I come to work every day. I want somebody, uh, HR, to make sure that I don't overstep my bounds and treat people with respect. I want the finance guys to see that I don't spend too much money. I need somebody to make sure that I log on at a certain time. So please, you have to keep holding people accountable. You never put your name on an email. You never put your name on a quotation. You never put your name on a, on a claim form that is not perfect. You know why? Because you have, listen to this, self-pride. Your name is going to go out and that work is not perfect. And if that work is not up to my standard, it's not going out. Do you know why? It doesn't matter what other people think. It matters what you think. It matters what you think. Why? Because every day you're having this conversation, this, I don't know, I, I, maybe it's not, you're not aware of it, but this conversation on a subconscious level that checks everything you do. That's why that whole saying of you have to look at yourself in the mirror in the morning. And the reason you do that it's because you need to know that you've done the right thing. Got it? Rectitude says, when nobody is watching, I do the right thing. And why do I do the right thing? Because nobody's watching, but I'm watching. <laughs>